Wow. You know, I had a crazy thing happen today. Usually I buy Diet Mountain Dew recently, probably within the past five months, you know, and I, I get on um, a kick on something that I like and I'll just stay on it, you know, and it's good. So why change? So I'll, I'll stay on the same thing. Sometimes my wife would get those moco frappes from McDonald's and she, she likes them in the wintertime. But, um, so I went to the store today and I was going to buy me some more Mount, Diet Mountain Dews. I only got four left. And I love them so much that a little restaurant I go into, they sell Diet Mountain Dews, but I always bring them on, you know, because usually you could get them for two fifty for a six pack, but the eight packs a little bit smaller and some of them are going for almost $4. So I might have to start drinking water. <laughs> That's probably better for me. But I like Diet Mountain Dew. You know, it gives you a little, a little perk. It's probably, you know, I used to drink coffee. And I can't drink coffee plain because it's bitter. So I, I put like a lot of sugar in it. And then my sugar started going up. So I said, well, I got to try something. So I tried to diet, see if I could do it. But so I've been drinking Diet Mountain Dew and this sparkling ice water, the grape. And I'll mix them together because for me, the sparkling ice water, it kind of too many of them kind of upset your stomach. But if you mix the Mountain Dew with the sparkling ice water, it still has the taste of both of them. And it's smooth. It goes down real good. And is zero calories or five calories for the sparkling ice. And it's pretty, pretty refreshing and gives you a little bit of energy. But today, they did not have any Diet Mountain Dews left. So I was in apparel, you know, unless I wanted to buy the eight pack, which was like $4 instead of the 250 So I said, well, yeah. so I remember a long time ago. Even when my granddad used to take me to, he, he did it a few times, maybe five, three or five times um, he, when he was able, you know, because when you get older, it's hard to take your little grandson, but, and he was busy and I was busy. But when we'd go to the ball game, sometimes we'd tailgate and his favorite drink was a mountain, um, seven up. Or dot seven up, and several times in the convenience stores they don't carry it. So I kind of got out of it because seven up, it's a little sweet even to dot, but it kind of tastes like water, you know, <laughs> carbonated water. So it doesn't really have a taste. No caffeine, you know. So you're just drinking it for the taste. I like seven up, but it was hard to find. So I just quit drinking seven up, and I used to drink Coca Cola all the time, then coffee and. Now I got on this Dot Mountain Dew, I mean, Dot Mountain Dew, <laughs> sorry, and the uh, Sparkle of Ice. Well, today I got a Dot Seven Up, and I drink it, and it was just like flooded. You know, I've heard of smells, certain smells you can flood with memories, but I just drink the Dot Seven Up, and then. It's like my head, my brain tingled. You know, there's no caffeine. There's no sugar. But just the taste. And it brought back taste memory, I guess, instead of smell memory. And it just flooded my mind with when I drank Dot 7-Up. It was crazy. So, um, you know, there's a drink you used to drink. Or food or candy or anything that you ate when you was a kid. or Try it. Try drinking something you hadn't had or eating something you hadn't had in a long time. And see if it, it revives memories that you had a long time ago. You know, hopefully good memories. But um, 
you know, because things change. It's hard to get things. Companies do things. But um, with all the stuff going on, logistics is really aggravating. And it's hard to get the products you need on the shelf. Because everybody's doing something they, they're not there to do the stuff. Or they're not making the product. You know, so you they get you hooked. Or get you to like a product very much. And then you go to buy it. And it's not there. So, you know, it might be a long time for you to use the product she was using when we were, you know, happy days. So, <laughs> might only be a year since you've had something. So, try it. You know, um, just try a product that you hadn't tried in a long time. And see if it just floods your mind with memories and things you hadn't thought about in a long time. People that, you know, used to be here, like my granddad. He's been gone a long time. I think my daughter is 21 now, so she was just born. So it's been like almost 21 years. And let's see, probably... Another 20 years, so 45, 35 to 45 years that it made me remember. I just think if, um, you know, we get dementia or Alzheimer's, they say it's like type 3 diabetes, you know, so we got to stay away from sugar. Um, I seen that with my dad. He, he was okay. He was struggling, kind of confused. But then when he ate ice cream, who are you? I don't know who you are, but you seem like a good guy. You know, that's what he told me. And um, <laughs> I thought my stepmother was kind of cruel for doing that while I was seeing him visiting, you know, at her house. But she said, I just wanted to show you how he does. You know, this is what I do it all the time. And I didn't get to see him that much. So, you know, but I seen what she was talking about. So it's one of those tough love or no love <laughs> things they show you. But, um, yeah, man, just Diet Mountain Dew, just drinking that tonight. If I had some other stuff I hadn't had in a while, I'd try that. Now, I remember, I don't know what kind of memories it would give me, but I used to eat these caramel with the little sugars in the middle. I don't know if they called those dots. And a long time ago, those little straws that had the little candies in the middle. And it's kind of bad to eat that stuff now. You're older and can't process it. But just try something. <laughs> try something that you used to have uh, that you hadn't had in a long time. And see if it just floods your brain with memories. or Even your physical memories. You can even feel like where you might have done something a long time ago. Or see images, you know, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just connected to Diet Mountain Dew. It made me do that. <laughs> but it, I was drinking it coming home in my truck, and it was dark. You know, there wasn't anything else around. Didn't have the radio on at that time. So I just thought I'd share that, you know. If you ever had any experience like that, you just comment. And I just couldn't believe it. Drinking a Diet Mountain Dew just flooded my memories. And they won the ball game. The Tigers won the ball game. And that was before they went through several years where they didn't win. But back then, it was cool. And, you know, I didn't care. I liked the Tigers because my granddad did. And I just I just enjoyed the attention, you know. There was this little uh, restaurant. I think they called it The Sizzler. It's closed down now. And there was two two brothers, one of them couldn't talk and the other brother could and he ran it and he'd let his other brother help him out sometimes but they would have chicken and the way my granddad packed the chicken we didn't get it wasn't any danger of us getting food poison but he'd give us a couple of chicken legs and the dot mountain dew and a, you know maybe a biscuit we had some napkins and you know, my granddad, he was um, probably World War II, a vet. 
but he'd also went in business helping people with homes. And that was his second career. He retired helping people buy homes uh, for local. But he, so he's very professional in business. He was probably six foot tall, you know, and uh, just taking his little grandson <laughs> to the ball game. Diet Mountain Dew made me remember. Wow. So, you know, stay cool. Thanks for watching. If you like my stuff on here, subscribe. You never know what I'm going to talk about or think about. Stay cool.